Hello and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, my name is Logan Hill and I make size 6 fashion videos as well as vlogs, what I eat in a day, sharing my life, stuff like that. But today we have a fashion video and we are trying on every single style of a gold day short that I could get my hands on. We have 7 pairs of shorts to try on and I really love a gold day because their shorts are super high quality. I know they're expensive but if you're going to invest in fashion that's going to last and not fast fashion, but Goldie is a really great brand for shorts. They're super flattering. I love their cuts. They have so many different styles, colors, and they're overall just really great shorts, and I wear them all the time. My favorite is the Vintage Parker short, and it's like my favorite short I wear all the time. But their sizing can be a little tricky, and I wanted to try on all the styles to show you what it looks like on my body. If you have a similar body type and just tell you kind of my thoughts on it, reviewing them. So let's get into it. So our first pair of shorts are the Vintage Parker short. Now these are the color Swap Me and they are one of my favorites. They do have some distressing and actually the pair that I got had like this connected, like the lines and it kind of ripped. But these are more frayed at the ends. They also are longer in the butt area, so they will cover and they flare out a little bit at the thigh. So they're really good if you have thick thighs or you don't like them tight on your thighs. They're pretty high-waisted, and I just love this color. I think it's really cute. It goes with everything. They fit extremely true to size. I got a 27 in every single short, and I'm a size 6, so I can range from a 27 to up to a 29, just, just depending on the brand. So these are 27, they fit perfectly, and they're 100% cotton, so they are going to be looser the more you wear them. So every now and again, I'll wash them, and instead of air drying them, I'll throw them in the dryer, and they'll tighten up a little bit. But they do loosen up, so the first time you put them on, they're going to be a little tight, but that's okay. You want them to be a little tight, because they are going to loosen like a half a size. So just keep that in mind. Now... Along with the Parker short, I have this style of the Parker short. I'm not sure what color this is called, but this is more of a vintage, whereas this is kind of more like, I don't know what I would call this, but these are also a really great pair, so I'm going to try them on for you right now. So I love these shorts. I just think the Parker style is so flattering on anyone. If you're looking for cutoff shorts that are a little shorter, these are amazing, and they'll cover your butt, and honestly, they're just flattering on every single body type, so I highly recommend these shorts. Next we have, these are the Roomy Mid-Length Shorts, and these are more like a Bermuda, so let's put these on. Okay, so these are the Roomy Mid-Length Short, and these are the color Renewal. And I really like these a lot. They are kind of a Bermuda style, but they don't go super long. So if you're short, these are going to be really great for you. Also, if you're taller and long legs, I think these are really flattering on anyone. Um, the sizing is going to be similar to the Vintage Parker short. They're going to be a little tight, but you just got to wear them out. That's the only thing. So I'm a big fan of these. They're high-waisted, but they don't completely cover my belly button. I have a shorter torso, so high, high-waisted things are like high-waisted on me. But yeah, overall these are great. They're not like super stiff, they're comfortable, and these are great. Now we have another cutoff. These are the D Super High Rise Short. Let me tell you, these were freaking hard to get a hold of. They were sold out everywhere. They were sold out on Free People, Urban, everywhere, but free people did restock and all the colors. So again, I'm going to leave all of the links to these in my description so you can go look them up if you want a pair. So this color is called Chimes, and let's try these on. Okay, so we've got the D Super High Rise. So these definitely are going to cover my belly button, and so what I like about these is they really cinch in at the waist. They're super tight on the waist, whereas a few of my other pairs are more forgiving. And I love that these have the slit right here, so they flare out. So again, if you don't like them super tight on your thighs, these are going to be good for that. 
They're a really great length. They're almost in between a cutoff short and like a Bermuda style. So they're a little bit longer without being like all the way down to your knees. For these, I would honestly size up to a 28, I think, because they're a little too tight around, like I'm kind of having to pull them down because they're a little bit too tight. Even though they would loosen up, I think for me, I would just want to size up personally. So I think if I was going to tell you the sizing, I'd say size up. So, but yeah, I love this color. I love the cut. I think it's super flattering. And if you like them kind of cinch more at the waist, these are going to be for you. And they are much more high waisted than the other ones. Now we have the Reese Ultra Relaxed Short. I think that's what it's called. But this is a white pair of shorts. And these are going to be very similar to these D ones, but they're going to be a looser fit and they do not have this slit right here. So let's put these on. Okay, so the Reese Ultra Relaxed Short. Um, so I didn't have a pair of white shorts, so I wanted to try these out. And they're really great, they're not see through, so they're really going to be good for summer. They're a little bit lower waisted than the D ones, but they are about the same length. They do have some fraying, which is nice, and again, they don't have that cut, but they do, they are looser right here, so if you do have thick thighs, I would maybe be careful of these, but I think they'll be okay for you. The 27 fits me perfectly. It's a little looser up here, which I like, I don't mind that, and they're going to stretch out even more, a little bit more, so they're going to be good. And again, it's that length between like a Bermuda and a cutoff short. Next we have the Mika, Mika Boyfriend Short. So these are in tw size 27. Let's put these on. So these are definitely a little looser. They're also a little bit more low-waisted. They're kind of like a mid-length short. Um, I like the fraying. I'm not a huge fan of these shorts on me only because on me it just is kind of weird and loose in the crotch. My friend Allie put these on they looked really good on her. She didn't have that problem but I do. So they're like they create this like weird creasing right here. So I'm personally not a fan. Um, I think it's because my butt's not big enough for them. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Probably not but whatever. But again, I really love this color. They're lower waisted. They're loose. So these are definitely a more of a boyfriend short. I honestly could have probably gone a 26. Maybe that's why they were like a little loose here. So I would say these are true size or if you want them tighter, size down. But I like the style. I'm not a huge fan of whatever's going on here. Now we have the 90s loose mid-length short and I got these in a black. These are actually on sale on Anthropology, so I picked these up. Okay, these are interesting for me. They are extremely long, but I actually put these, I styled them with high-waisted black boots and I really liked that style, but if I was going to wear these out with just sneakers, it would look really weird on me because I'm shorter. I'm 5'5". Five, five. I don't know if that counts as short. But I just think they kind of cut me off weird unless I'm wearing something that's, unless I'm wearing boots that are higher, if that makes sense. So I like these a lot. The fit is really nice. They fit perfectly. They're size 27, true to size, all that good stuff. My only complaint is they're just a little too long for my body. If you're really tall or if you have really long legs, these are going to look really good. I'm not saying that if you have short legs, they're not going to look good, but you're just going to have to style them carefully in my opinion. But yeah, overall, I love these. This color is really nice. They fit really well. The length is just a little bit meh to me. Okay, these are the final pair of shorts, and these are the coolest pair. This is the crisscross um, upsized shorts, and they're like, I don't know if you guys have seen the jeans in these, but so they made a short version. They're Bermuda shorts, but these are 28 because I did already try the 27 and they did not fit. They were way too small. So I got a 28 and instead, so we're going to see how these fit. So let's go. Okay, so these are the crisscross shorts. They're super cool. So these are the 28 and they're actually pretty like, they fit really well. 
I would say they're a little loose. So I'm surprised that the 27s were such a big drastic difference. I wish there was like a 27 and a half. But yeah, these are really cool and unique. Kind of show you up close. So they crisscross here. And yeah, they're just really cool and very unique. And these are, again, a Bermuda style. They flare at the end, so they're extremely comfortable. They're not super tight. I don't think they're supposed to be super tight. They're supposed to be kind of loose, but they're just such a cool pair of shorts. And just the whole crisscross thing is super unique and very cool. But yeah, so that's the Golday shorts try on haul. I hope that was it was helpful. If you're kind of looking into a Goldie and you're not sure what style to get, I hope this helped you with sizing the styles and kind of narrow down your choices. I know it's an expensive brand, so you know I can only invest one piece at a time. And yeah, so I hope I made your decision a little bit better or if you're thinking about getting them or you just weren't sure about their sizing and styles. I hope this is helpful. And if you haven't already, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!